Hi everyone, it's Bagudiran Almadiri here uh, as part of my uh, episode of the Russian experience. I am showing you the German Russian Institute of Advanced Technology, that's the GRET, is a part of the Kazan Aviation Institute uh, of the Technical University of Russia. This is the university I'm soon finishing, inshallah. And uh, I just want to show you very important and interesting aspect. This is the drawing or the esquisse of the first first uh, passenger plane to sto uh, 144. It's the first supersonic. That means the very high speed, modern speed of uh, sound. Uh, the first one to be constructed and released or tested in the world before Concord. You know, the Russians did it first, then uh, Concord, the American company, also came on uh, some few months or years later. So uh, this it was uh, the end in, in the 1960s. That's the ending part of the 20th century. So this plane is still standing here, though not working. It has been packed, uh, I think docked, let's say, for some years at the other district of the Kazan city. The Aviastraitilne Avia Rayon, that's the, uh, let's say, aviation district. It's a very old uh, district. So this is a passenger plane that takes around uh, maximum, I think, 150 passengers. But the speed is around 2000 kilo kilometers per, per hour. And uh, last year, I think around December 2017, the plane was transported from the aviation district to this place, a very nice location because that's the second building of Kai, Kazan Aviation Institute, and this is the eighth building, the new building of Kazan Aviation Institute. So it's located in between two two building or two structures, two educational structures of Kai. But why is this plane so, let's say, important to be located here? Because um, the name of this institute is Kazan Aviation Institute, named after Alexander Nikolai Tupolev. So I think even if you don't know anything, you heard about Tupolev or something. Alexei Nikolaev to, uh, Nikolaevich Tupolev, not Alexander. So, and uh, as you can see here, it's written, A.N. Tupoleva the name and uh, he is one of the geniuses or one of the best avia constructor in the world and uh, uh, he he had some relationship i think he worked or his son or something had a relationship with kai that's the kazan aviation institute that's why it's very worthy for them and very significant if it is uh, located here when it was located at the aviation district it was also docked around the Kazan Aviation Factory, Kazan Aviation uh, Zavod, Aviation Zavod, and uh, it is around the Kazan Aviation Institute, the sixth building. But now the location is better, and uh, as you can see, it's uh, in the city. So just just by the roadside, visitors, guests, tourists, everyone that's passing can have a nice look at it. But the most important thing or the most interesting thing to know is, is that uh, this plane is docked here not just for the tourist or just for design or something beautiful, no. There's a very interesting idea, very innovative idea of uh, creating or constructing an interactive museum, museum, interactive museum inside this. So right now, as you can see, that's, uh, I think, part of the engine. Everything is removed from inside. A new design, a new design of the interior is, uh, is taking place, which is to be com completed, I think, till December 2018. So new interior, new design where students, uh, pupils, uh, that's uh, school students, guests, visitors, politicians, science uh, scientists lecturers everybody will have the chance
to enter inside in an interactive mode, maybe to even uh, have a virtual reality of flying this uh, uh, supersonic, this uh, grandiose, uh, let's say, uh, aircraft, as you can see. And uh, it's very, it has a lot of uh, special uh, specularities, this plane. Uh, that's why it's uh, the pride of Kai, the pride of Russia, or the pride of the Soviet Union, because you can see the flag of the Soviet Union now, SSSR, that's Soviet Union. So it's a very, in fact, the pride of the world because it was the first to be constructed at that time. So that's just what I wanted to show you. I think it's very interesting and it's very beautiful. If you have any chance to visit Russia or visit Tatarstan or visit Kazan, don't forget to come to this place and take a look and at that time I know the museum is already active so you can have chance to enter inside I myself have not had chance to enter but sooner or later inshallah when I will return to Kazan I will have my chance of entering and taking a very nice look and view of the first supersonic aircraft the two store Sora two 144. Bye.